Hey, I just wanted to jump on and show everyone all of the plastics that are in my home at the moment. I've been specifically saving them up to show off. Um, but yeah, I, I thought that to do this, I could give you guys an idea of all of the things that you could recycle as well. This is a cake mix, uh, all your different types of grains and chip bags and noodles and uh, tofu or even, um, sorry to draw the correlation, but uh, meat, the top, the plastic, soft plastic on top, you can dry, dry that and recycle it. This is a postage bag. This has plastic lining. It is paper, but it's got this plastic thing on the front as well. And so I haven't separated it and I'm going to research, but yeah, I've recycled it because it's co-mingled. Like as I understand, there can be a combination, um, but I'm not 100% sure. This is a um, protein powder. This is for cleaning oats. There's all of these little plastics. This I found, this and this I found this morning on the on my walk like they're just little bits and this is sort of what happens is plastic just like breaks down it, it um separates and then yeah it's it's lighter than currents so it gets picked up really easy and travels far and yeah glad wrap um sticky stuff from nut butters there's like a makeup packaging, there's like sweets, ice cream, chocolate, cheese, pasta. Yeah, anything that is like soft, soft and plastic. Like it can be different types. It, it doesn't matter. It's just kind of, yeah, plastic. You can recycle this team and you can um, be a part of the people who bind all of this plastic together into compounds that don't enter into the environment, which is epic because we're in a challenging time at the moment where all of this type of uh, waste is really having an effect on Earth and as a result, ecosystems, including us and our other lovable beings. And uh, start to recognize where soft plastic is in your life and uh, show you how easy it is to start to collect soft plastic and then take it to a recycling center and it's as simple as just dropping it in a bag um, and there it is uh, being recycled through the co-mingling soft plastic system and this is really uh, an effective and the most effective way that we know how to prevent plastics from um, continuing to end up in our soils and in our water catchments at really small microscopic uh, sizes which we don't know how to remove from um, those areas and which is a really challenging uh, difficulty to overcome so uh, that's already happening and by beginning to recycle your soft plastics, you are slowing that process down from getting to a, a more challenging point. And um, you're also being part of an opportunity to uh, reuse plastic in a way more sustainable way. So if you have any questions uh, or you have any thoughts about it or you have any kind of thing at all related to uh, recycling soft plastics, um, talk to me. I am so open to the conversation and I um yeah totally non-judgmental I totally understand a lot of people's um, circumstances but yeah one of the biggest things that like I kind of noticed that is uncomfortable for people is like time they don't have time um to sort of distribute and it's just not having a, a an appropriate recycling system in place or also like just like the dirtiness and um, smell of soft plastics but yeah I haven't noticed that at all and it's really easy to do once you just get into a habit of it like we're pretty simple and we just have like a plastic bag and then we just pile our soft plastics in that plastic bag um, but 
I have a friend and I might even just link that video here as well where um, she has separate bins and um, it's all labeled out and there's like a lid on top of the bin and you know that that's a really easy way as well I don't have enough space for that and yeah I don't notice like any bad smells or anything like that um, and it's a good like the aeration lets it all dry and stuff but yeah any questions any new thoughts I would love to start a conversation about it and thanks if you've gotten this far for listening to me